This is Rev. Kelly Cargis, Senior Pastor at Trinity United Methodist Church, and this is my video journeys for this weekend of Mother's Day. This is an old journey, circa 2003. Okay, okay, so I was spoiled growing up. Both my grandmothers made sure we three Cargis boys knew that their mom was too good for us. They wanted us to appreciate what we had. But sometimes it's only when you look back that you realize your blessings. Now that I have my own children, I appreciate my mom more than the two grandmas could have ever conceived. Mom has always been there for us. Our clothes were just always there in the drawer ready to go. Those football pants and baseball jerseys were overnight magically cleaned of all traces of grass stains and mud. Three hot meals a day were at the table when we finally dragged ourselves up from the basement after the fifth or sixth call to come and eat. Mom was there to haul three boys to three different schools and three different team practices and games. Mom always helped with homework and typed and edited every paper I ever wrote up through that first year in college. Mom was the one who was intricately involved with all of our lives as advocate and advisor. Mom was the one who talks this scared, skinny sixth grader into running the mile for the first time. Mom was there to help haul the drum set to and from school early in the morning. Mom still comes and helps get the house ready for company. I've never seen under the refrigerator or behind the stove because when she comes to help, I know she's been there and done that. I cannot thank God enough for my mom. Now, mom is grandma to my kids, and I overheard her the other day telling them that they don't appreciate their mother enough. I smell a conspiracy. So here's the prayer for Mother's Day from our United Methodist Book of Worship. For our mothers who have given us life and love, that we may show them reverence and love, we pray to the Lord. For mothers who have lost a child through death, may their faith give them hope and their family and friends support and console them, we pray to the Lord. For women, though without children of their own, who like mothers have nurtured and cared for us, we pray to the Lord. For mothers who have been unable to be a source of strength, who have not responded to their children and have not sustained their families, we pray to the Lord. Loving God as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so we watch over your church, so you watch over your church. Bless these women that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with the spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So here's another Journeys article from the back of the bulletin, Mother's Day, 2004. My wife Cindy has been gone for 12 days, representing Nebraska and serving her church, as the General Conference meets in Pittsburgh. Her absence has given our family a unique opportunity to really know what she means to us on this Mother's Day. So I thought I'd ask my kids what they missed about their mama. My succinct seventh grade son, Zach, said I miss seeing her face. Being the more practical one, he also said he missed her cleaning up and driving us places. Our baby eight-year-old Emily says she missed watching TV and getting into the hot tub with her mama. Emily's also the only child who's got her cell phone numbers memorized, and she calls her mama in Pittsburgh on a daily basis to tell her in her best whiny voice, I really miss you, mama. Katie, our 15-year-old, said she missed talking with her mama as they watched Letterman and Leno together in our bed while I'm in my late-night reading chair in the living room. The teenagers also agree that they missed how she laughs when she's nervous and cries at anything on TV. This is the longest Cindy and I have ever been apart from each other. Cell phone relationships are better than nothing, but that's about it. I miss her being there, just being herself. I've missed having someone to listen to. I've missed having someone to talk to. I've missed having someone to tease and play with. I've joked before that our decision-making process has always been that I'm the risk-taker and she's the perfecter. I have no problem making a decision, then she tells me whether I'm right or not. I kind of hate to say this out loud, but I have missed having a second opinion on things. In the church, as co-pastors, we use each other as sounding boards for the 50 million little decisions we make each week. 
I know that being missed means a lot to Cindy because her dad died when she was three. For her whole life, the only way she's had to express her love for him has been to miss him. Our Mother's Day gift to you this year, Cindy, is that we miss you a lot. Grace and peace. This is Reverend Kelly Cargis, Senior Pastor at Trinity United Methodist Church.